Liam, that was a... Wow, I mean, I'm lost for words. What, what a performance. Yeah, everything come to plan. I told you I'm a problem for any one 22-pounder. I was beat a uh, certified champion, do you know what I mean? So, as I say, every time I fight, what can they say now? I'm sure they all got something to say, but I keep proving um, I'm a problem for any of them. I mean, the bookmakers, bookmakers said that was a very close flight, and you showed that you're just one step above, and now another, another piece of silverware to add to the collection. It's, it's becoming quite the collection now, isn't it? Yeah. Um, the last couple of years, I've picked up a lot of belts. I've trained very hard. Tend to be quite a bit. Um, yeah, sorry about that. They're all, everyone's buzzing, ain't they? But um, yeah, the last couple of years have been great. I've put the work in, man. I started this knee high. I used to be in the gym as a kid, just watching. I love the sport. I've dedicated my life to it and I'm slowly reaping the rewards. I mean, if you look at your run as well, it's been all the names you've, you've been taking, a lot of people would have said no to, but you've been believing in your own ability. Is that also what's just helping you so much in this rise, is your own belief in your own ability? Yeah, of course. I believe, like, my great-granddad, my great-grandfather boxed, my granddad boxed, my uh, father boxed, and I just believe now it's come down to me, and boxing's all I've ever knew, so... Yeah, I've put the work in as well as I got the talent, do you know what I mean? And now I've got the belief. Performances like that just help you even more, don't they? So yeah, big fights to come. I want big fights only. I feel like I'm the best in the Super Bant well, I know I'm the best in the Super Bantamweight division in these shores. So um, hopefully I can get some big fights off it or we can go to Saudi and uh, I'll smash anyone from Matchroom. Well, there was a certain someone who did. So there was a certain someone who was talking about you a bit earlier. So um, since you asked, I'll, I'll show you the video. <laughs> so uh, what's your reaction to uh, Dennis McCann saying he would beat you one million percent? Please, man. He don't believe. Do you know? Um, do you know that meme? You know when someone says something, then I've done that performance, and you see I've done since him, and he just goes back into the bush. <laughs> That's what Dennis McCann's going to be doing tonight. After that. He's a good kid, but I'm here, man. If he wants a fight, let's go. We'll do it next. No problem. Ha I've been saying this, and everyone that knows me knows that I'm the one is not making it happen, but I'm not going to lose any sleep. I'm not chasing that kid. Do you know what I mean? They had to... <laughs> for me to give him tonight. Do you know what I mean? So if he wanted me, really, he could have fought me for the British, European all in one night, so that's all I'm gonna say. Well then, just as well, this is your first fight of 2024. Regardless, what would you see as the perfect year for you this year? Would it be more world titles around your waist? Is that what you're seeing? Just keep living the dream, be happy in life, be around my loved ones and uh, some big fights. Like, I'd like Saudi, America, uh, do you know what I mean? I'd like one abroad, feel like, their memories, or one back at Telford, Telford Football Stadium, let's do a big one there. I don't really know, but um, it's got to be big next. Well, it's just fantastic that there's that many opportunities, and you've certainly earned it, so congratulations the win. I mean, you've got a lot of family to celebrate with, and deserve to celebrate after that, so congratulations, Liam, and we'll see you very soon. Yeah, thank you. Thanks to everyone that come out and supported me tonight, who tuned in at home on TNT Sports. I'm very grateful, and uh, big up Queensbury for having my back and making uh, my dreams into reality tonight. Cheers, Liam. Thank you.